Like the feral people, what do you know about the feral people? No one won't mess with them. The lady passed away about five months ago. Oh, no way. They were supposed to tore the house down four months ago. I mean, we got problems like everybody else. There's yeah. drugs everywhere and all that. But yeah. My brother, he just passed away a week ago. Oh, I'm sorry he, to hear that. He retired off the railroad. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. I am joined here with my friend Aldo. What's up everyone? We are road tripping from Canada all the way to West Virginia, which is where we're at right now. We are in a town called Bluefield, West Virginia. And our goal and mission is to document and check out really cool but poor towns in West Virginia. Things we've never showed you guys on our channels before. Things a lot of you haven't seen um, ever. Our main goal, our main intention is to just basically walk around, investigate, check things out, show you guys the poorest regions of West Virginia, and maybe meet some of the locals and also check out some haunted spots. But there's also a dark side to West Virginia, paranormal dark side, things that are supernatural, things that people don't know about. We're also gonna be diving into that throughout this little West Virginia series that we are doing. Guys, people have only told stories about the scary parts about West Virginia. If you go on YouTube, you can see story time videos, but no one has dared to actually go deep into Appalachia to document it on their cameras. But in this series, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be filming all the haunted stuff that people are too afraid to do on all our cameras just for you guys. Like there are stories of Bigfoot in these regions and the uh -huh. Appalachians. Yep. There are stories of the feral people. There are stories of like, inbred families in the forests and there stuff. There are stories of the moonshine queen guys, the moth man. There are so many people who have actually went missing in these areas as well. So while some people know that this is the one of the poorest regions, people have never documented anything haunted here until now. So you're lucky. Now smash the like button. I know you guys are excited for this one. Something a little bit different than what we're used to doing. I want to kind of change it up a little bit to see how you guys like it. So please smash that like button. We drove 15 hours to get here. We're very tired, but we're going to give you guys a banger. Let's go. All right, my friends, the Appalachia series has officially begun. Look at where I am right now. I am somewhere I have never been in my entire life, and I'm doing something that I've actually never done before. Now, you guys know in the past, I've done a lot of abandoned, I've done a lot of haunted, and I've done a lot of exploration, but I've never really explored old, rundown towns that are basically falling apart, turning into ghost towns. Just take a look over here. We have a memorial of a picture of basically what this place used to be. This is very, very ancient, as you guys can see. They used to have trains that were shipping coal from the mountains nearby, because this used to be a coal mining industry town. Now, this place was booming back in the day with coal. It was booming with a lot of people coming in here to invest, and a lot of people, you know, buying properties, and even car manufacturing as well. Now, a long time ago, when the coal was really, really popular here and making a lot of money, the unfortunate side of it is it did pollute the town. It polluted the air out here. It also polluted the waters. So when that happened, fish were dying, people were getting sick. Even the drinking water here was not drinkable. So come along with me. Let's walk around town, see what we can see and discover things that we've never seen before. I feel like I've gone back in time being here like I actually have. I've driven through uh, many US towns that are old and kind of run down looking, but nothing like this. Now I'm not saying Bluefield is a bad place. I actually have encountered nothing but nice people since we've been here. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Have a blessed day. 
You have a blessed day too, sir. God bless you. Wow, people out here are really friendly. But I'm sure there's gonna be the interesting folks as well. This kind of gives me vibes of like, old, I don't know, like I've never been to your, like Russia, but it kind of gives me like that communist vibe. It's very strange. We got an old building here that's clearly abandoned. By the way, I want to give a big shout out to Peter Santanello because I am invested in his videos when he goes to these small towns. Dude is so cool. I've actually been binge watching him for like the last six months and it kind of inspired me to come out here. I've been wanting to do this, but I just needed a bit of inspiration. So Peter, thank you, man. I do appreciate your, your, your awesome videos that helped me kind of break out of my shell of doing more than just haunted and abandoned. So this is a, another example of how this place became abandoned and run down and everything just kind of shut down here. There's only one furniture store on this entire strip of buildings in the downtown area. One furniture store that's active. I have no idea who's living out here and buying furniture, but it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So the street that I just showed you guys is all the way on that side of this blocked road. Everything there looks run down. It looks like it's falling apart, but then when you come onto this street, Federal Street, it looks brand new, new buildings. Not new, I should say, but more kept in shape, looking pretty clean. We got Aldo filming down there. Let's keep going and see what else we find. So I think I pretty much just walked the entirety of the downtown area. Very strange, this side over here has all the abandoned stuff all the buildings that are closed down and not doing anything there's no business there's nobody coming here but this side here where the federal buildings are it's clean it looks mint there's a clock tower there's a lot of interesting things out here it's crazy because it's literally divided by this big building here you got the good side and you got the ugly side ah take a look at this look at what i just found here this is murals basically as a memorial to all the hard-working people that lived in this town of Bluefield the people that sacrificed their lives their health their literal physical bodies to give this town life support it support their families you know these people here whoever they are even if these aren't real people they they did work out here and they did struggle to feed their kids their wives all their families and you know it's a shame that the town is falling apart if you are from bluefield west virginia let me know in the comments below live a little is not just a brand it's a movement it's a reminder to seize every moment to take risks and to live life with passion and purpose lal merch encourages you to step out of your comfort zone and live life to the fullest head over to mosarji.shop or use my links pinned to the top of the comment section to get your very own live a little gear live a little because life is too boring check out this old marble building never seen anything like that it's completely laced with marble on the outside got a lot of bro broken windows the building is abandoned obviously and there's not much going on in the building next to it. Yep, it's definitely abandoned. Wow, really beautiful building though. Watch your step. Abandoned. Oh my god, it's like decaying on the inside. Wow. This looks like a really big, expensive building. And for them to just abandon it, leave it behind, Oh, that's so cool. I'd love to get inside. About to hike up this road that goes around the building. I'm gonna see if there's a way to get in. You guys know me. When it comes to abandoned, I can't resist. Especially when it's in the town in Appalachia. For the record, guys, we aren't just here to walk around in towns and document streets. We do want to talk to people. So if I see somebody, Hey, listen to that. That train right there, back in the day when this town was booming, would carry so much coal in and out of this place. And that coal will come back as money to the people that lived here. Don't know if we can see it. Uh, yeah, we can, look at this. There's the train right there. Wow, that is so cool. So I was saying we're not just here to walk around and look at buildings. We also want to explore 
the supernatural aspect of the Appalachia. Something a lot of people have really shied away from doing. Because first of all, there's a lot of tales, scary tales, coming out of the forests and the trails, the haunted trails in Appalachia. Apparently thousands of people have died in these places over the years, obviously, dating back to like the 1600s. And apparently, a lot of people that wanted to walk the trails have gone missing in the forest because of the feral people. Now, I don't know how true this is, but we are gonna be doing an overnight video in the Appalachian forest off a trail where apparently people have been abducted by the feral people. Now, if you don't know anything about the feral people, it's basically a thing where nobody really knows. Apparently settlers that moved from like a different continent came out here. I'm breathing heavy, guys. I'm going up a mountain right now. Well, so apparently people moved into the mountains of West Virginia and they settled somewhere deep in the mountains. And apparently they developed these hunting skills that's unmatched and they get you. I'm not making this up. This is like well documented, especially by the people out here. So they get you and apparently they eat you. So we're gonna go and see if that's true or not. As you guys can see, that's the downtown area where I just was, where those buildings were down below. Looks like this used to be a school or still is a school. Well, I mean, if there's still a school operational here, then that means there's still some money in the town, right? Pretty interesting artwork for a school. It's like, what is this? Aliens? <laughs> Little devils? Octopuses? I don't even know. I gotta say, the vibes out here are pretty creepy. It's like no cars coming in and out. I see like a lot of zombies and like skeletons in the windows. I wonder if this is all for Halloween or or what no or i think they're doing like an attraction here guys look at this this used to be the bluefield daily telegraph in 1916 and now it's abandoned this whole building every door is padlocked obviously i wonder if they're trying to restore all this holy moly that's a lot of stairs wow Yep, definitely abandoned. You don't see buildings like this anymore where you just come downstairs and there's like a really creepy staircase down here. Whoa, and look at the floor. Daily Telegraph. Wow. What's the worst Appalachian community you think? Or like the town? We heard Bluefield well, is like run down as heck. You know, odd's 35. Odd? An hour. Yeah, 35 to an hour. You were telling me about that. You know, that's where the Whitakers are from. Yeah. Yeah, we heard about those Soft guys. White underbelly that's cool, that's so cool. Yeah, so uh, they're like two, an hour and a half, I mean, at most. I don't know, I ne ain't never been there. I just know they're not far, so they wouldn't be more than an hour and a half. Yeah, we, we actually might head out there too, because we're going to be continuing on in South Carolina so after this. I want to see a lot of dilapidation Welch. Welch? So they call this Little yeah. Chicago. But that's like three, three and a half hours from here, no? No, no? Welch is 40 minutes. Oh, max. 40 minutes. Uh, maybe 30, yeah. Oh, okay. And then that so, Bramwell, they, so... If you go to Welch, you can hit Bramwell on your way. And Bramwell is like this little cool town, 15 minutes from here, maybe 10. It's just right down the road. Yeah. I, I mean, they go to high school here. And uh, anyways, it's they called it Millionaire's Row or Millionaire's Mile or something. But it was a little river town and okay. all the coal barons live there. So the houses are like, I mean, the houses look like that. It's wow. stupid. Really? Yeah, because all the like the really big like coal and, barons. And those ones are run down or are still in good shape? It's about 50-50. It's like the main street and the main part of town. Yeah. There's like some historical houses and there's like the corner shops, like probably the best restaurant. Travel Channel just went there. Cool. Um, but other than that, like, I don't know. If you kind of stay, take your step out, you yeah. know, then it starts getting rained down. Is this your business? Yeah. Yeah, you own this. So you've yeah. grown up here in this area? Yeah. Really? How long have you been here for? Uh, so here in Bluefield, five years. And, Do you like uh, it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's quiet, but... Yeah. Wish there was more going on, but we're trying to do some stuff to get, get the community going. So, is this place like growing, you think, or is it falling apart? Oh, it's growing. Yeah, yeah. I think it reached its lowest point and now it's starting to bounce back. Really? That's uh, that's actually good to see. Yeah. Because so, we came up here thinking it's going to be a ghost town, but we're actually seeing like some hustle and bustle. And, yeah, it's so. 10 years ago, there weren't shit down here. Really? And, uh, and like, like I said, I grew up in Tazewell and I, I didn't ever come down here, so there's no reason to. So my first time coming down here, I was like, oh my God, you know, like this is city. And yeah. uh, it's yeah. pretty wild, but I hope you don't mind. I, no, stole, I, don't I mind. stole from Walmart. <laughs> for, 
getting back to the call. What, what was your name, by the way? JP. JP Mo. Nice to meet you. JP. Yeah. yeah. Nice cool, man. It was great talking to you. Great talking to you, dude. Yeah. Uh, if y'all are in the area, great golf courses. Um, the best place to catch lunch. It's like ten bucks. It's like right there. What's it called? It's a historical building. David's downtown. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's called the Bluefield Arts Center. It's a building. But Sweet. It's we, well, we haven't had breakfast yet, so yeah. yeah. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Take care. Take it easy. You too. All right, guys. Really cool spot here in downtown Bluefield. Downtown Merchants. Really nice, dude. I had to support local. Always got to support local to keep these guys going. Um, you heard from him, this place had seen its worst. It's starting to have a bit of a come up, which is cool. I think we're gonna continue on and see what else we can find out here. So let's do it. How you doing? All right, how are you? Good, thank you. Hey, you heard of the feral people? Mm -mm. No? no I've it, heard of that. It's crazy, online it's a big thing about these people that live in the woods in the Appalachians. And apparently if you go in there, they hunt you down, they kill you and eat you like cannibals. Wow. Well, like so far I've been asking people out here and it's like, we never heard of them. I never heard of it. That's the first time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, wow. Nick? Yeah. Mo, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm cool, man. We just drove to another part of town that's uh, looking really, really rough. It's up the mountain, but look at this. We came across an abandoned school. At least I think it's a school. We're going to walk around it right now and see if there's a way to check out the insides. Wow, everything here looks so freaking rough. All right, so this is kind of sketchy, guys. Look at this. There is this high school. It looks like a high school to me. Yeah, it looks like a school, yeah. Yeah, I would say it's a school. There's like an abandoned cop car right over there, which is pretty interesting. But we are in a rough part of the neighborhood. Look, there's an abandoned house here. Abandoned house is that way. Like this house is missing all its windows, so it's got to be abandoned, right? Now, we got to be very careful because... There is a drug problem in these small towns, a very big one. And <clears throat> when there's a drug problem, you're gonna have, you know, drug dealers, you're gonna have people that wanna rob you. I'm not saying these entire areas are bad, and I'm not saying the people here are bad, but they're all there's always like, you know, a small percentage, a small chance that you can get kind of like robbed or jacked or even shot or stabbed out here. I mean, it, I mean it's Virginia, bro. Everyone's got guns here. Yeah, be careful. I do have I do have my gun though. What? Look. I got my gun. What the? That's not how to do nothing? Brought it with me from Canada. Can't bring a sword to a gunfight? <laughs> it's interesting because this house is abandoned. It's missing its windows on that side. But the house looks like it's in decent condition. I don't think we're going to be able to get into the school though. Because it's just, it's just closed up. All the windows are boarded up. And honestly, I didn't come here to go into an abandoned school. We came here to kind of like document how run down this place is. And boy oh boy, it is run down. This is a side of America that the media can never show you and will never show you. And we got another abandoned house. I think it's actually connected to that other one that's in front of the school. I'm seeing a bit of a trend here. Abandoned houses kind of everywhere. Yeah, this one's gutted from the inside. I can see through the window. There's nothing up in it. I stayed on the road most of the time. I drove about 700,000 miles a year. We heard of like the feral people or something living in the mountains and the trees. Uh, you ever heard of that? They've got what they call the guy that's supposed to live in the mountains around here, but I've never or seen any proof of it. We got another abandoned house over here. Dude, there's like abandoned houses everywhere. Yeah. Like, and it's like everything is still inside of them. Like it, time capsules. No, I think somebody, maybe someone lives there because there's a dish uh, thing Bro, there. The window's broken, wide open. Hey man, you never know with this yeah. area. It is yeah. the, one of the poorest regions. Yeah. What might be abandoned to you might be someone's home, you know? Yeah. And that's why like. That old house right there. The lady passed away about five months ago. Oh, no way. They were supposed to tour the house down four months ago, the city. Yeah. They ain't touched it. Condemned. Condemned. They condemned the house before they even brought her body out. Some of her relatives went in and got some stuff out, but they ain't nobody been up here in a long time. Yo, that dude was cool. He wanted to talk, but he was kind of nervous at the same time. Yeah. Um, but he said, like, when we asked him about the fair people, yeah. he did seem like he knew about it, but he kind of just didn't want to talk about it. He said he doesn't care about it. Doesn't care about it. Doesn't care for it. He's heard the stories. He's never seen proof of it, but he's, 
on the fence. A lot of people, I mean, you can't just show up with a camera. Yeah. That's why I've got this strapped to me. Like, so True. usually yeah. when I'm filming the people, this is just running on my chest. They don't pay attention to that because they see the big camera in my hand. Yeah. And it's not filming them. So they're more comfortable. Also, you got to keep in mind that maybe some people, like he doesn't want to be associated with like the feral people. Yeah. Right. So that's why yeah. he doesn't care for it. And it is a little disrespectful too, if it's inaccurate, right? Yeah. But if they are true, that's yeah. cool. I want to meet one. They closed down in the 80s. They closed down in the 80s. Uh -huh. It was what, a high school or like a... Well, originally it was uh, Beaver High School. Beaver high they school. built a Bluefield High School back in 1960 or oh, else, And they converted that into junior high. Oh, okay, cool. It was Central Junior High for years until they shut it down. That's when they built the new middle school. I mean, we got problems like everybody else. There's drugs yeah. everywhere and all that. Yeah. Well, that, well, the guy, he bought that school. Yeah. He lives in there. I yeah, that's what, that's what the guys down there just told yeah, us. Yeah, I went to school there. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. What was it like going to school here? It was, it, it was good. Yeah? It really was. The good times. Yeah. yeah Old times. That's back yeah. in the 70s. Oh, yeah. I, was, I wasn't born then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Used to be a nice neighborhood, but then people started dying off, you know. Yeah. The older people and stuff. Well, we just talked to a guy up the road, and he was told us that his neighbor died like five months ago. She was living in that greenhouse that's abandoned now. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But I mean, did, it's it's life, right? Yeah. 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 Did you work in the uh, the coal fields? Did no, 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 not me. Did you ever know anyone that worked in the coal mines? My brother's the. No oh, yeah. way. Yeah. My brother, he just passed away a week ago. Oh, I'm sorry he, to hear that. He retired that. off the railroad. Okay. But yeah, it's, I mean, there's a lot of places around here you. You'd be amazed at. Where, where, where do you recommend we should go, like to get like the Have best you stories? Been to, uh, Bramble? No. Bramble, no. no. Bluefield is literally our first town since coming up here from Canada. Well, to get to Bramble, well, that's the, that's the college over there, Bluefield State College. Okay. okay. Well, university now. Uh huh. You go up that road. It's called 52. Just follow 52. It'll take you to uh, Welch if you want to see coal fields and yeah, we heard Welch was a rough place too. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, yeah. So the coal the coal fields are all done now. They're not doing it anymore. There's some doing it, like in Pocahontas. Yeah. Like I said, it. If I had time, I'd ride y'all around and show you. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah. my wife, she knows a lot about Bramble because she was, she went to school down. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's and your that, name, by the way? Adam. Step Adam. Toe. Mo, nice to meet you. Some people live. I mean. They still live off the land and, you know, they... Off the land? Yeah. Like in the forest? Yeah, yeah like they hunt and all that. But yeah, we they don't come to town or nothing. They... So there are, uh, like, the inbreds who live in the yeah. forest. That's true. Yeah. Okay, and but... so people call them online. The term is feral people. Have you heard of that? Yeah. That's what they call them. Oh, so you've heard about the there, feral people? Actually, uh, there's a movie on about them. It's on Netflix. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. So, so I've never watched any of these movies on Netflix because I really don't have the time for it. But like the feral people, what do you know about the feral people? Don't want to mess with them. That's for sure. No. Really? <laughs> so I told you. I told you. We so, heard this online. It's true. It's crazy because we've been asking you know random people here and there. What do you know about the feral people? Some people are like, oh, we've never heard of them. They don't exist. It's a myth. And then we get people that are saying, don't mess with them. They're yeah, gonna, they're gonna eat they, you. They. They to themselves, they don't. Right, they don't play by the rules. So they're no. real, they're real. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. okay. But okay. If, if you go, just be careful. Okay, yeah. Well, a gun with you. <laughs> for real, We're yeah. Canadians, they don't allow us to bring guns across the border. I got a knife though, but yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Pretty much, they just inbreed. <laughs> you know okay, I mean? They don't enough. like, from what I hear, they don't like trespassers. And yeah, they, they'll they hunt you and actually eat human skin from what I've heard. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll get rid of you. Yeah. We'll get rid of you. And they, uh, they own a bunch of land. Oh, okay. They they live in the in the mountains. Yeah. You know they. Shit, okay. And like I said, they don't come to town for nothing. Nothing. So, so how could someone that lives in the mountains never own nothing, own the, all the land? I guess by keeping just, people out. Yeah. I guess they pretty much took it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. God. They took it. Oh Damn. wow. So it is true. So confirmed. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Where yeah? do you think we can go? <laughs> where can we find them? You got yeah. an address? <laughs> no. <I'm not. laughs> uh, I ain't got no address. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. That's cool. But like I said, you can go to the library, and it—I mean—it'll probably give you a little bit more of what you're looking for. Yeah. Stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool, awesome. Adam. Thanks so much. Thank oh, you so much man. once again. It was great to it meet you. It was a pleasure. You take care Thank of yourself. So yeah. Take All right. care. All right, take care. Well, 
we met a really cool guy named Adam and that was such a cool interaction with him because he was so chill. He came out of his truck as we saw him coming out of his truck. He looked like he was having a bad day. And I don't blame him because his brother just passed away a week ago. And that, that must yeah, be tough. Probably. He went to the high school, this abandoned high school, which apparently a man lives, the guy that owns it lives. Oh, he, he said if we knock on the door, he might actually let us in. There is a guy that lives up in this school on the third floor. We, we're probably gonna come back and try to um, interact with him, see if he can give us access to the school. He see, lives he in the lives actual in school. The school. Yeah. And remember you saw that you said before there was like a cop car, it was just like a hoax car? Yeah. That's his car, bro, he lives here. Hey, that one little town you mentioned, what was the name of it? Odd. Odd. My wife just looked it up. She said it's in Raleigh County. It's up near Beckley. Yeah. Raleigh County up near Beckley. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Good Sweet. to know. Thank, Thank you, you man. Right, Once man. again, I appreciate Take you. Care. Take care. All right. Uh, so, so far what we've learned from this area is that there are people willing to talk about the feral people. There are people not willing to talk about the like feral people. Like the other people. guy. He, like, he knows about it, but he's like, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk reason. about it. So you're, you're having mixed reactions, which is understandable. Not everybody wants to be on camera. Yeah. Um, we've learned that Bluefield has a ton of abandoned spots. And a lot of these abandoned spots are because of the people actually got old and died. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and because they used to work in the coal mines, but then they didn't run out of money and things go bad. We don't have money. Yeah. Like we've met this guy now. His brother died a week ago. We've Before met that. the guy up the road. His neighbor died five months ago. Oh, I before you came, remember that guy I was talking to? He told me that his uh, dad worked in the coal mine and he lost all of his limbs. His back, his arms, his legs, everything. Whoa. He's lost all his limbs working in the coal mine. Which that. is unfortunate. Imagine working, risking your life just to make some money. Yeah, they're just trying to feed their families. That's yeah, it. Yeah, it sucks. And then the corporations pull out and they screw everybody over. As you guys saw with that house over there, they completely left it abandoned when the lady passed away. They didn't even fix it. And the neighbor was like, like how weird is it? Imagine your neighbor passed away and because they passed away, the house was left abandoned. And every single morning you had to wake up, there was a reminder in front of your face because the city didn't clean it up. No, there's actually a reminder that you're gonna die soon too. Yeah, it's like shit. Yeah, I'm next. You know, that's crazy. So right now we've been invited to go and check out this abandoned amusement park. Um, they're gonna be giving us a tour and showing us around. It's part of this area. It's about 20 minutes away. So not only have we been checking out a cool town, talking to people, seeing some abandoned spots, but we're gonna go see an abandoned amusement park. And apparently it's got a very, very dark history to it where children were literally murdered. Passed away, right? They were murdered. They were murdered. Yeah, they were murdered by a tribe um, that lived in the area. Two children apparently on the property. Wait, wait, a tribe that lives in the area? Yep. From the forest? Yep. By feral people? Not feral people, no. How do you know? It, it was a native tribe. It's well documented. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Native tribe, okay. Yeah. So we're going to go there. We're going to get some information. We're going to check the place out. And there's a possibility that we're going to be doing a video where we're going to be sleeping the night inside of this abandoned um, amusement park. We're trying to stay there the night? 24 hour challenge? 24 hour challenge. Today. Damn, are we bringing back the classics? I think so. We're going to try with your help, guys. Except, we can bring back except we're going to do it for real. Unlike yeah. other people just making 10 minute overnight challenges. Yeah, like, if you're somewhere overnight, you can't post a 10 minute video. A That's 10 minute, 24 sense. hour overnight challenge. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. That's, how, how are you going to cram 24 hours in 10 minutes? So guys, I'm here with Chris. Um, he's hey basically the coolest person ever that we've met out here. Since we've met a lot of cool people, but you're you're pretty up there. Um, there. There's a memorial here, and throughout this entire land that we're standing on, there are thousands of bodies apparently. And it's not apparently. Actually, I've seen pictures. We can't show them to you guys, but there are pictures of them. And if you guys want to come out here, you can see them for yourself, uh, amongst other really cool things. But uh, th there's a lot of stories that's happening from this memorial over here. I'm gonna let Chris tell us about it. So a lot of people, they bring offerings to give to the Native Americans. I'll tell you about one of them that somebody brought in. So this fish lure right here. The man that brought that fish lure, he said he was out fishing. The fish broke his line. Five minutes later, he catches the exact same fish. He takes the lure out of his mouth. He puts it in his tackle box. He carries it for 20 years. When he gets here, 
he leaves it for the Native Americans. Now, to me, that's pretty deep. The man gave his story away. Yeah. So basically what people are doing is they're leaving some of their prized possessions as gifts, uh, um, you know, offerings. out of offerings out of respect yes. to the uh, natives that were buried here on this property. On this property. All right, you guys, continuing on this journey that I've been on here in Appalachia in Bluefield. Right now we're outside of Bluefield. We're about 15 minutes away, but the abandoned does not go far. Everything is pretty much abandoned around here. If there's not someone living in it, then it's abandoned. Look at this. So this is parts of the abandoned theme park out here. This is just one ride out of like two or three, I think. But look at how eerie the vibes are. Take a look at this, it's so crazy. It's a shame a ride like this was left to rot. Back in the day, this must have been so much fun for the people that lived around here and wanted to bring their families to this. Look at this. Number eight. Bucket number eight. At one point, some kid was having the time of their life on this thing, and now it's just rotting away. Filling up with vines and everything. Hey, look, there's a little toy over here. I'm on the back side of the Ferris wheel now, and there is a swing where a little girl died on. But I'm saving that for another video. I don't want to get into the uh, the death part of this. I want to show you guys what this place used to be, you know, built in the 30s. This place lasted up until about the 80s, I think. Did go abandoned a little bit, and then a family bought it out, and then it became abandoned once again, as not too many people wanted to come to this place for a certain point. Now people come here to check these things out, but look at this. These are remnants of Appalachia and the abandoned that is very, very prevalent in this part of the world. So this overnight that we're doing in Appalachia, here in the Appalachian Mountains, here in Bluefield. Appalachia. Um, pretty pretty good. We like saying Appalachia for some reason. Appalachia, Appalachia. Can you guys say it 10 times? I, wait, we should try to say it 10 times. Appalachia, 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 Appalachia. Some say if you say it 10 times, your pee pee shrivels. Oh, what the heck is that? Okay, guess what? We just got a call from a friend of ours. His name is Don. And he knows we're out here trying to film stuff and looking at cool things. And he told us he's got an abandoned mansion that he owns out here in Bluefield, which is pretty crazy. We're about to go and check it out. It's an abandoned mansion. It's getting dark soon and cold, so I think it's going to be a, a dark one once we get there. I'm hoping there's no, like, creepy things in there. Mothmen, feral people, no... You know, well, there probably is going to be because get this, guys. He told us that he has a renovation team that are trying to fix everything, but every single time they went to renovate, they have unsuccessfully been there because they've gotten chased out by something. He didn't mention if it was like a spirit or a feral person or something, but we're about to find out. Yeah, and the crazy part is that the mansion backs onto some of the haunted trails of the Appalachian forest. Literally, in the backyard, there is a big trail that goes deep into the woods. So is this gonna be easily, like yeah. like I'm kind of nervous to go there, but this is gonna add to our overnight adventure in Bluefield. This is gonna be crazy. So thank you to our friend Don. We're getting the full experience. The full experience. We're so tired, but we're gonna keep going just for you guys. Yep. So let's go and check out this mansion. Here we go. Ah! This is scary, bro. I know. This is so crazy, guys. Holy shit! I cannot see a thing. Yo, what the hell? All right, guys. We've made it up into the house. This is freaking creepy, man. We're on the porch right now. Oh, they got massive spiders here, dude. Oh, what the? This is dangerous. Look at that. Oh, is that a black widow? I don't know. It's freaking big and probably poisonous. Oh, there's another big one up there. Oh, be careful. So right behind me in the Appalachians, we have a very big, big mansion. It's abandoned. It belongs to a friend of mine. It's also haunted. Now, you guys remember my friend, all the way in Jersey with the gingerbread house, Don, he owns this place. Him and his family own this place. They've owned this place for a very, very long time. And this house is over hundreds of years old, built in the 1800s. It became abandoned over time. And they've been trying to renovate this place on and off, coming and going back from Jersey to Virginia. But and they literally had to chase out 
the uh, feral people from the Appalachians. Also the construction workers that have worked inside of this place in the past have fled this place because it's apparently so freaking haunted. I just heard something bang inside the house. We are the only two people here by the Yo, way. What if there's feral people inside right now? We haven't checked. Oh God. Only one way to find out. This is one of a kind series, man. We might not make it out of Appalachia. This is real danger and we're documenting it all for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, here we go. We're about to go inside. Hopefully there's no um, fair owl people. I've already been inside just to leave my bag, but we haven't been around the house just yet. So here's the thing with this house. My friend Don from the Gingerbread Castle, you guys remember how I just recently posted the haunted Gingerbread Castle and that video that we filmed all the way in Jersey. So my friend Don's family owns this place. So I wanna give a big shout out to them. I'm gonna leave Don's GoFundMe down below to help restore the Gingerbread Castle. So do me a big solid favor, go and just donate something, whatever you can. It could be a dollar, it could be two dollars. I donated a hundred dollars just to, you know, help him out, to help restore that place. I love that place so much. I want to get this place back up and running. So please do me a solid favor. The GoFundMe is down below. Also, Don's got this really cool place that his father owns. And I'm gonna link it down below as well. It's like one of the coolest but creepiest attractions where they do these like haunted attractions and stuff at nighttime. And it's actually in the Jersey area. So if you guys are from that area, I want you guys to go and check it out. I'm also gonna link it down below. It's called the Blue Arrow. Now I was told there are some really terrifying things and terrifying things that are happening in this house. So bro, what if there's feral people still here? Bro, it's very possible. When I was doing my intro, I heard something like When slam. was the last time that he said that he they chased people out? It wasn't too long. Well, it wasn't right? them. It was the cops. But they didn't see who they were chasing out. They were hearing like footsteps coming and going, but they didn't like see anybody. So from what Don's been telling me, apparently a door slams nonstop in here when the construction workers are here working. Really? Yeah. So far, I don't see any doors though. Is it downstairs? Upstairs? Did he tell you? I don't know. He said there's a kid's room with blood all inside of it too. So apparently, yeah, apparently there's a kid's room with some weird writing in it. Okay, we gotta find that. Whoa, what a creepy ass place. This is weird. Right? As if they said that they had police chase out feral people here. Whoa. Dude, look at this. What? What'd you find? What the heck? This is so creepy. This is like Blair Witch vibes for some reason. This is very eerie. Right? What makes this even creepier is knowing that this is in the Appalachia. Like, yeah, like you don't know what the heck is gonna pop out. The trail, the Appalachian haunted trail is literally right outside the doors. Like you just don't know what's gonna pop out or come at you. For all we know, there are feral people living in here. He even told this guys off camera that we should legit be careful because this is like some real stuff. People literally live in the wilderness and they hunt other people. That's what he told us. He, he, he was like, yo, are you sure you want to do this video? Like, yo, as you're saying, risk. as you're saying that, my ears are ringing. Like I'm getting some weird ringing in my ears. Bro, that's a good sign. So this place is... Bro No one else should be in here. I want to get out of here. No, 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 no. What the? F There's not supposed to be anybody else here. Bro, is that a feral person? There's somebody in here. That, dude, dude, that came from upstairs. So we have permission to be here. Whoever's in here does not. I want to get. No, I can't. No, bro. We don't have any weapons on us right now. Should we? Should we, should we go check? Did it sound like one person? It sounds like somebody walking upstairs. I'm about getting ready to get the hell out of here. Well, is there something we can use, possibly? Maybe this? Yeah, maybe. Bro, because I heard that. That was loud. Somebody's upstairs. Hello? Who's up there? Whoever's in here, you're not supposed to be here. My friend owns this place. You need to leave. We're going to call the cops. Hey, let's split up and go search. Okay, Okay, you go right, I'll go left. Right. Hello? Is anyone here? I swear to God, we heard footsteps and it wasn't like a raccoon. You could always tell what a raccoon footstep sounds like compared to... I'm coming up. Oh. Right here. Damn. It sounded like it was right above the kitchen. Where's The kitchen's right under here. 
Oh, dude, it was in this room. There's a gargoyle, and there's a creepy mirror that says 666 on it. Yeah. This is cool. Look at this. What the? And look at the gargoyle. There's a gargoyle to your right. Do you think it came from here? Well, the kitchen's right beneath us. Oh, hold on a sec. Hold on. Alright, you go that way, I'll go this way. I can't believe we're inside of this guy's house searching for somebody that was walking around. Oh wow, there's a freaking attic in here. What? What's wrong? Bro, there's literally blood. Oh, so that Bro, is, there's blood here. So that is true. He told me there's blood in the... There was a, a kid's... Oh, look right hey. there! Shh. Somebody's walking. Dude, I'm legit terrified right now. There's somebody walking inside the house. Hey, who's here? We know you're here hiding. You hear that? You can't be here. Yo, what if it's one of those like feral people? Bro, they literally might be. Here. There's more blood here. Oh yeah, you're right. Dude, there's literally blood. And he told me about that. He said there's a, a child's room that has blood in it and there's some weird writing everywhere. What the Things, bags, dined, lettuce, learn, people, aunt, girl, uncle, places, city. Dude, this is why he said come at your own risk. Let us out. Let us out. What does that even mean? Look at this, there's a whole closet covered in blood. What the heck? I'm gonna have to blur that blood, you guys. YouTube doesn't like blood. It demonetizes Bro, my have, video. Like, I'm still from a couple days ago when we were in the floor. Yeah, we've had a lot of crazy stuff happen to us while being out here in the Appalachia. But we gotta we gotta keep going, man. This is what we came here for. This is why nobody's coming out here because everyone's too scared. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! It smells kind of weird up here. Look at these windows! Dude, what is up with this table? Look at this house. Do you think something happened here? Yeah, that's so weird. Looks like they were gathered here. <clears throat> oh, dude, don't touch it, that's blood. That brown stuff, that's oh, blood. Shit. And why is this oh. shattered right in the middle? That's blood right on top of the plastic. For real? Yeah, that's actual dry blood right there. You have a UV light? Yeah. Here, let's turn off all our lights. Oh, yep, that's blood. That's how blood illuminates with an UV. Really? Yep. That's 100% blood, dude. Yo. Yo holy so crap. So look at this straight. So we have blood right here. Yeah. And then there's glass. There's blood on the glass. Oh, look. There's yeah. blood on the glass. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? So what Don was telling me about this attic is he had guys putting insulation in. Yeah. And apparently when they were doing the insulation, there was people running up and down the stairs the entire time. But there was nobody else but two guys doing insulation. Which, look, the insulation never got completed. Wait, he heard so he two yeah. people coming up and down? No, no. So the people that were working on the attic doing right. insulation work, they never got to finish. Because they actually ran away scared. Because they kept hearing somebody going up and up and down the staircase. And look, that's proof of that because the insulation never got finished. Wait, dude, that's what we heard when we were downstairs, remember? Yeah. We heard somebody, like, moving up here. Yeah. But we were in the kitchen. Hey, spirits, give us a sign that you're here. Anyone here? Oh my god, I'm this? shivering. Something's touching my left leg, on my ankle. Something's actually touching me and it feels cold, dude. It's actually I still think touching I missed me. It, I think. Huh? Like, I, I literally still what does it feel, feel like? I feel like I'm being touched and it feels kind of cold. Move, but move. a gentle touch. Move your foot, let me see. Last time I, I didn't believe you and then when I was editing, I saw a legit scratch on your leg. It still feels like that. What the hell? Is there anything? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's moving in that room. Something's moving in this room. Who's in there? We caught you. You're stuck. You're stuck in this room. Something shook that cabinet, dude. Anyone here? We legit just saw you. Just come out. I wonder if the paranormal that's happening in here with these employees when they're in here is because of the mirrors. Do you think so? Because you know mirrors are very extremely haunted. Yeah, and there's also like a random mirror just chilling right there. And it's got 666 on it, right? So, did something do that? 
Is it maybe something connected to the mirror or something connected to this gargoyle over here? Well, you know, it also could be the spirit of that kid went missing, right? Possibly, yeah. There was a kid, I think his name was Daniel, he was six, and he went missing in the... Uh, in the Appalachian? And the Appalachian. But here's the thing. The Appalachians are massive, dude. That's true. We don't know if that was in this area. Exactly. Could be other kids that went missing. That's true. Yo, guys, this place is legit terrifying. From the moment we got in here, the vibes were off. There's something going on here. So, Aldo's gone off on his... Oh, my God. The K2 meter. Yeah, it's gone. It's... Oh, there it is. Why in this area? So guys, I want to remind you that this is not a place that you want to come to because this is owned by a friend and they are renovating it. So it's not really an abandoned house. As you can see, it does have electricity. Um, we could probably turn on the power. Dude, we could turn on the power if you wanted to. I guess they're really fixing it up, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's not an abandoned house where you should come here. You'll get arrested if you come here without permission. Oh, oh. Oh my god, it's going straight to orange right here at the doorstep. Is anybody in there? Yo, it's freaky. It's going straight to red. What the hell? Look at this. There is something is inside here? Yeah, there was like something Dude, tapping. Check that door. I don't know like if what I'm more afraid of. Feral people or these freaking spirits? Oh what the hell? It's still going off. Here, I'm gonna turn off my light so you guys can see this. Yeah. Oh, that's going straight to red. What is that noise? Yeah, yeah. What was that? There's something walking around in here. We're just moving in here. Something is definitely here. It's just whatever it is, it's really slick. Because it keeps evading us. There's no way it's human, dude. So you didn't find a basement, you said? Oh, I did. Look, it's right here. Oh! Oh my god. It's the basement. This is the basement. Brace yourselves. We're going in. Oh! Yo, this is so creepy. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, oh! What the f***? What the hell? Did you see that? The light! Dude, the light just turned on my Bro, it's weird because as that happened, I was looking at this hand. There's a random glove here. What? The, why is there a hand down here? And I'm like, why is there a hand here? Bro, it must be the workers that you said ran away. <sighs> yeah, could be. There's literally a hand in the basement. Just, I thought scared the crap out of me. I know it's just a light, but that light should not have gone off like that. How did it just turn on by itself? I have no idea. What the? Did you flick it on? No. Bro, I'm filming the light. How would I flick it on? Dude, I don't know. I'm just looking for a logical explanation here. Cause there is no logical The logical explanation that, is this place is haunted. That was, that was creepy. Oh, dude, look at this. Look at these old jars. What the? What is this? Old school jars from back in the day. Some old What's newspapers. Whoa, old newspapers. From what year? It's a long time ago. Like yeah. We got some more old jars. Mayonnaise? This is what mayonnaise used to look like back then. You know what? I actually don't like mayonnaise. Really? Mayonnaise is gross. I love mayonnaise. I can it's eat it with a spoon. Disgusting. <laughs> I can, like, take a spoon of mayonnaise That's and eat disgusting. it. <gasps> what the f is that? Dude, I wasn't even filming. It's, it's still going. It's listen, listen. <gasps> clicking. Clicking. Somebody's upstairs. We're right under it here. It sounded like clicking. Bro, that means there's someone's here talking to each other. We were told about clicking. Everyone in Virginia was telling us about the clicking. They you have a secret clicking. language. Yeah. The feral people have a secret language. So we just grabbed our stuff and got the heck out of there. That was a really terrifying house. From the moment we got in, things were happening. But you know, it's what we expected in this area. And I think we had to get out there before they brought their friends. Because that's my theory anyways. Yeah, we left and we just parked somewhere else just now. Um, imagine like these things you know like are actually here at this house and they were walking around while we were in there 
How are they moving so quickly? Like, it's not like these guys have powers. These guys are like humans, but they're a little bit different than us. Apparently they're bigger, they're stronger. Well, it's different because, so the theory goes that they grew up in the wilderness, right? Yeah. So when you grow up over years and years, like you evolve differently. Like they probably have diff different feet. And they're like probably have different sneaky. hands. Apparently they have longer arms. Like they're made to hunt in the wilderness, right? I felt like we were being hunted, kind of. Exactly, so if they can hunt in the wilderness, I'm pretty sure they can avoid us in a little house. But I'm still kind of complex, like, were we being hunted by the, these freaking feral people, or were we being hunted by, or was it something paranormal, right? Like, I don't know, It's I guess that's the mystery. I don't, we're like, never gonna find out. We, we were here late, man, but honestly, we, we don't want to stay any later. It, it's it's dangerous. Yeah, this yeah, has been one hell, hell of an, out of here. It's been one hell of an adventure. Go subscribe to Aldo. His link is down below. Subscribe to me if you guys haven't. We got more videos coming out of this area that you guys are going to absolutely love. Live a Little is not just a brand, it's a movement. It's a reminder to seize every moment, to take risks, and to live life with passion and purpose. LAL Merch encourages you to step out of your comfort zone and live life to the fullest. Head over to mosarji.shop or use my links pinned to the top of the comment section to get your very own Live a Little gear. Live a Little because life is too boring.